Welcome to uh, Retox. Apparently this place is the hardest place in Budapest. I'm here to find out. Uh, yeah, so we met a couple of days ago at uh, Grandio, right? Jason Mamoa, Aquaman. Do you remember my name? Man, I'm the worst with names. I really? Places. But you remember my name? No, no, no. Really? What's another character from the DC Universe? A particular villain, starting with J. Yeah, Joker. Oh, Joker! <laughs> you didn't fucking remember yeah, me, yeah, did you? Yeah, 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 you don't fucking remember yeah, me. Man, you were up, fucked man. off your face, that's why. <laughs> hey, go, grab a mic, man. Joker. Grab a mic. <laughs> now, here's the thing. If we had the headphones here, you'd be able to hear yourself, so you just have to kind of trust that we're actually recording right now, yeah? Yeah, no, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This no, is my I'll little, trust this you, little I'll trust you, mate. All right, introduce yourself. You uh, are... Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, how's it going, guys? I'm uh, Big Mike. Nice to meet you. Or... Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. Or uh, Drogo. Or You're not Joker. Or I'm Joker. Dro Drogo. Oh, Drogo. Oh, Drogo. Drogo. Carl Drogo. Boy. I've got to say, was Khaleesi a good route or not? Mate, you guess. 10. 10 out. 20 out of 10. 20 out of 10. I'm jealous. Oi, why don't jealous. you guys talk? Do you want to talk? Yeah, I'm going to roll as well. 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 Mike, check. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, I need more drinks for this. All right, so now... Yeah, me too. Me too. So what have you been doing with your day today? Uh, we've been sink and piss. We're at Retox. What do you think we've been doing? No, that's what I fucking like. Wake up drunk, sink more piss so you don't... Get sober. That's it. That's the fucking best way to be. That's the retox way. That is the retox way. Yeah. There's no detox in here. No, definitely it's not. It's just retox. Re rehab is for quitters. Exactly. So oh, we're chatting shit. We love chatting shit. Mate, all we, fu all we fucking do is chat shit. shit. My job is to chat shit and get drunk. He's got fucking the best job it. in the world. Chat shit and get drunk. Yeah. You can't beat it. No, you can't. can't beat it. <laughs> yeah, give, give, him, give me one. Give, give him one. I'm not on. I'm not on the mic. Yeah, come on, have a chat. Go on, you want to chat, boy? I mean, why am I gonna? What am I gonna chat about? Monica, what do you want to chat about? Grab my microphone. What are we gonna chat? Um. If you're gonna talk to each other, you gotta talk to each other. Otherwise, it's gonna be just not gonna work. I know, but we don't know really what we should say. No, of course not. I mean, I did just mention um. Sucking. Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan absolutely cool, talks to himself. He's a psycho, man. <laughs> Everyone talks to himself. He's a nutso, honestly. I mean, You're he's cool. On YouTube. Like, follow, and subscribe. What's that? <laughs> like, follow, and subscribe. <laughs> Fraser also, from Retox Party Hostel smells like dick. I have no clue. What are we having a chat about, Balta? <laughs> Balta's off to the United States of America. Oh, yeah, true. My name is Syndrome. I am Mondog. And this is um, Syndrome Special Hour. <laughs> yeah. That's what I like to call um, me playing with myself at night. Syndrome special hour. Syndrome. You know, it's this only piece. Of the night does that go? go uh, maybe ahead, it's normally between four and five in the morning. Um, and what goes down during Syndrome special hour? What goes down? Yeah. Nothing goes down. Only thing, <laughs> only thing is going up, up and up and oh, you up. Suck. I want to um, I'm confused that. as to what I'm going to talk about now that I've done my Syndrome special hour. An hour, I'm really bad at keeping time, gag, so... Gag, gag, introduce yourself. Let's talk to the resident dyslexic gag. Hello, I am indeed dyslexic. Yes, I can't hold it. Gag, can you ever. say a sentence for me? What sentence? Purple burglar alarm. Well, my Scottish tongue doesn't allow me to say well, that correctly. I would, I would love the Scottish uh, tongue to say it. Purple burglar alarm. Purple burglar alarm. Purple burglar alarm. <laughs> purple burglar alarm. <laughs> Yeah, I, no, I guess it's like very expensive equipment. And Hi guys, my name is Dora the Explorer, and you are tuning in to Retox. Like I don't know what the fuck to talk about. Kira, you saw a jebe krut. Kira, you see a pencil in the metro. Okay, you need you need to actually have someone who's got dialogue. Whoa. Has someone got something to say? Who would like to jump on? 
Any of you to talk about shit. Would Come anyone on. like to talk? I want to have a cigarette. I can't Mike, do this. you talk. Big Mac, Big Mac, Big Mac, Big Mac, Big Mac, talk. Door of the Explorer. How's it going? Hi, Big Mike. What is your favourite event here in BPH? My favourite event? Yes. Well, um, these, all of them are fucking amazing. But I think my favourite is uh, Alcohol Olympics because I won the last one. Really? So, uh, what can I say? Oh, so you're going to be on the legend ones then. All stars. Yes, all I stars. fucking am. Yes. When is the next all stars? You're the Michael Jordan of Alcohol Olympics. Definitely not. Okay. No way. <laughs> um, you, can be the, you can be the Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant of the Alcohol Olympics. Sounds he's good. up there, but he's not the best. Yeah, I wouldn't know fuck all about basketball, so uh, it's you all you, man. You it's all you. Okay, so I have a question for yes. you. What go, is the go, craziest go. story that you've got so far from your stay here? Craziest story? Yes. Does someone it have to involve me? Yeah. yeah, someone shit in the shower twice. Yeah. Is that it? Two, two that, that's your craziest life. story? Oh, is that know. it? Um, I mean, if you've seen the shit, it definitely oh, No, the trust here. me, there's um, been a lot worse here. <laughs> hmm. So my first time ever here three yes, years ago, here. Yep. Um, it was at New Year's and for some reason right after New Year's at Christmas time it was like everyone went into heat like dogs okay. and everyone started fucking like rabbits and to start with there was a 14 room dorm vodka tsunami before it got split up yeah. and every single person in that dorm had a pair that they were having sex with except from one girl who was too ill and so drugged up on Nurofen and all types of paracetamol <laughs> that she just comatosed she, she didn't even know what was going on really and on the day that I left, I remember that there was a 10-person orgy that had twins involved that were getting with each other and one French guy in the corner videoing on iPad. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, I want to be here on New Year's. And Yeah. I, 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 I think that was a very special New Year's. New Year's. That was a very, very special New Year's. But it does tend to get quite wild here at Christmas time because it's like everyone loses their mind and yeah. you can get away with so much more because there's not as many people. Yeah, for Whereas sure. in the summertime, like, everyone's monitored because they have to make sure that you're not doing anything bad. Nothing but... um. Bad. No, never. No, uh, well, we're, we're, we're bad stuff happening. No, never. Things. Nothing bad. Exactly. Happens. Definitely. We're very good civilized people. people here. So, Monica, what is the wildest story that you have um, since your stay here? Um, uh, it's a difficult one. Um, like, I don't know. I feel like, um. Somebody brought a gun last night. That was fun. So yeah, I heard about wild. that. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was not very fun. It was pretty fucking shit. Um, Tends of wild though. I don't know. It's always weird. Shit. Like I just, I just feel like as soon as something wild happens, there's always something wilder to happen. Like, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty hard to just pinpoint one. So there's moment. not one that sticks out in your head at all. Somebody shot in the shower recently. <laughs> Twice. That's fairly normal, though. Twice. Is so, it? Have you, when you get drunk, do you think about shitting in the shower? Well, I mean, if you're too drunk and you can't help it. and No, 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 no. He, like, knew what was going on. Oh, great. So, right, it was, okay. It was an That's active lovely. decision. Yeah. So, um, you don't have a nickname. Oh, uh, it's Mondog. Mondog. How did you get that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> So it's not like Minesweeper anymore. No, it's not, like, it's not a good... It's not a good... I didn't say it was good. <laughs> what is the worst nickname that you've heard here and why? Oh, there's some pretty shit ones, to be fair. Like, they're just... Oh. I think we all know which one's the worst one out of them all. Which one? Chippy. Oh, I reckon it's the best one, though. Chippy's the best one. Right, so what is Chippy's story, then? Why um, does he have his nickname? So there was once a guest here, <laughs> uh, a female that was very, very open about her uh, yeah, sexuality and who she was, and she um, slept with quite a few gentlemen while she was here, uh, and one evening they were all shoving things up her vagina. It was consensual, I just, just putting it out there, she was very, very... Consent um, is sexy, yes, always cons sexy. <laughs> always very sexy. Um, I believe a... I don't know. Do not push any of the buttons. Let's button. leave the buttons. <laughs> um, I think that included a mannequin arm and a couple of other things. Uh, and a whole box of uh, Macca's fries went up the vagina. Uh, and one was left behind and when it came out it was really soggy. And uh, this <laughs> chippy lost odds to eat the soggy bad chips. And that's how he got the nickname Chippy. By eating a chip that came out of a vagina. Lovely. It's a pretty good story. I reckon it's one of the best stories. It's a great stories. story. Have you ever heard a pube story and how he got his name? 
Yeah, because they put pubes in his bed. Yeah, when he went away on holiday and came back because they all held a pube shaving party. <laughs> oh, poor dude, poor dude. Oh, yeah, pubes had told me a really, really funny story a while back when we were travelling through Prague. And um, we literally just came from Budapest and we went to Prague and he said to me, he was like, listen, listen. So I was sleeping with this girl in the bedroom and a bunch of French guys came in. They pulled on my balls and they unsheathed my dick from her vagina. Now, everyone laughed and they all thought the situation was pretty funny. And while he said it, he said to me, he was like, I'm quite glad they didn't come in 10 minutes earlier because she was giving me a rim job. <laughs> but the worst part was, was the girl from Budapest was actually standing right behind us in Prague. <laughs> That's pretty fucking good. Yeah. That's a good story. Alrighty, should we pass on to somebody else? Yeah. Have a quick chat with Glenn. Them? No. <laughs> Anyone else? Syndrome. Would you like to speak on the podcast? Oh no, Doris. Doris been a pretty good host. I'll pass it on. So, Syndrome, tell me I'll your secrets. Over. My secrets. Yes. Um, I'm a sex pest who cares about no one but myself. Yes, you're very, very much uh, a fiend. I'm an alcoholic. Uh, <laughs> but we all know this. Uh, if uh, you work around me, live around me, be around me in general. Um, so, Syndrome, how did you end up here? Um, oh, fuck, I'm breaking shit. Just um, leave it. I'm leaving it. I'm just putting it back on. You gotta put the rubber feet back on. It's important to wear socks. Feet high. So, how did you end up here? Um, so, I. Fuck, I don't even remember. It was like a year ago now. Um, get that for the camera just a so nicer. Oh yeah, do some AMSR. I can't even say ASMR. Um, basically I was in Prague. It was, seems like all the stories are happening in Prague right now. I uh, met a bunch of people and they're like, oh, you go to Budapest, but don't go to Retox because if you go there, you won't sleep. And I'm like, well, screw you guys. I'm just going to go there out of spite. It's basically how I ended up here. Um, I was here for 11 days and as I was leaving, they were like, Oi, do you want to work here? And I was like, huh? I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have said it that nicely. No, it was essentially like no, that. No, they usually prank yeah, them. No, it was like, it was like... Monica cry. They told her that she had to get kicked out and then they hired nah, her. No, see, they couldn't because someone had fucked, someone had fucked with, um, screwing with Chippy and Fucci. Which meant that they basically just had to ask me straight up. I like, remember Fucci. Oh, who doesn't? Uh, he massaged my feet one time whilst I was having sex. That was rather pleasurable. Um, fun fact. Do you have a foot fetish? No, nah, not really. It was just comforting. Comforting. Yeah. Mm. You know, I couldn't see it, so I was like, it was like young, Fucci very has um, tiny petite woman hands, so it felt like a lady was doing it. Ah. So it's fine. Little yeah. Chinese lady massaging your feet. <laughs> Time massage, happy I know, ending. I know the same feeling in Thailand. Absolutely, happy ending in <laughs> the, the middle. By the lady boys. <laughs> uh, exactly. Yes, absolutely. What um, happens in Thailand stays in Thailand. What are the dumb things about me? So, what is your room like? What is it called? Oh, my room is called the dog house, and it bloody does not deserve that name. It deserves to be called the dog mansion. No, not the doggy house. Is it because you always? If in you the dog know box? me, I never, ma I never managed to make it to the third change of position. If you know me. Sounds and what like do you have on the wall in the dog house? Um, my name. Um, I uh, have Very original. my date of arrival. Are you trying to call me out for my uh, tally of people that I've banged? Because yes, that's not on my wall in the dog house. I'm trying that's, to get all the secrets out of everyone here. That's not in eight. That's in what the sanctuary, not the dog house. Thirty-eight. Lovely number, thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Is that all together, or is that just a redox? That's all just here. At Retox. All in one it is it is all together and I love all how your Retox. mother's looking at you horrified beside us right now. My, my mom doesn't oh she care. has no idea what's going on. Good, good. My mom just tells me to, Oh my god, right. My mom just tells me to hurry up. I have seen the number and I have no problem with that. Experience is uh, Experience. comes with something. <laughs> very, very important. Oh don't my <laughs> She yeah. Good old Petra has done a what's lot going more than on some, here, guys. I'll tell you that for sure. <laughs> so oh. true. It is. It is. It is very true. Well, your age, I'd probably done that. <laughs> I'm only 18. I'm 18. <laughs> Lovely, sweet 18. 18. But the old innocence. <laughs> not really. Innocence, not really, oh. but. <laughs> safe. <laughs> so. This is a safe space. What are some of the rules that we have in this hostel? Oh, drug free. Absolutely 100%. Always drug free. Always drug free. 
Um, and uh, that means uh, that there's w- no drugs are allowed. No the drugs, drugs are not free. Ever. Yeah. Because a, they're going to be expensive. B, B it's lower. Super it's illegal. Yes. Uh, there's no point. Uh, B. Uh, no smoking upstairs at all. Uh, it's a massive fire hazard with only okay. the one way in and out of the. Instead of rules, how about yeah, random? Yes. What about or in fact, what about random rules? Like, say for example, you cannot say the M word. Oh, what the N? Look, the N word is just racist. M word, not N. M. 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 I. N. E. M. I. N. E. Yeah, that's another one that we have. Or um, how or about banishing? How does that work? Oh, so when I say stupid shit, like I do all the time, uh, if the majority of the staff members around put their two fingers to the sky, uh, I get banished and I have to go stand in the corner until I am allowed to come out again. No, it's like a no, it's like a naughty corner timeout for saying dumb shit, whether it just be a bad pun, something racist, something fucking anything. <laughs> Sue's probably banished. Sue's banishes a lot of people. Um, of another course dumb, she does. Another fun rule. Uh, at open mics, if you sing Wonderwall, uh, you'll get your head kicked in by every staff member. Understandable. Nearby. I mean, I love Oasis, and I, mean, I didn't Oasis realize how British Wonderwall. loving Oasis was until I started traveling. Oasis. And I was Oasis like, oh no. Oasis made buttloads of money and still is making buttloads of money. Oh off no. Of song. Oh yes. Oh no. <laughs> So, would anyone else like to talk? We can pass it on. Nope, everyone's running away from the mic. Okay, right, who's got quality, quality conversation? Actually, oh, I've managed to get you a lot of stories. Fuck him, I love popcorn, where's it gone? I, I, love, the, I love the half pop seeds, give us the half pop seeds. Mm-hmm. All right. Nora, are you uh, still happy with host duties? Yeah, I've actually been doing a very good job, thank you very much. It's so much better when you've got the headphones because you can actually hear what you're saying. Yeah, it is. I fucking forgot. Fucking, I knew I was to get something. So, Nora? Yes? From Scotland. Well, actually, I'm Hungarian originally. You're Hungarian? Yes, Scottish. and I speak Hungarian. Uh, yes. No, I'm fully Hungarian. My mother moved me out when I was seven years old to got married to a Scottish man. Okay. And... I'd been stuck there for 18 years of my life, so I got stuck with the accent as well. <laughs> Whereabouts in Scotland? I was north of Edinburgh. I lived Edinburgh. I love Edinburgh. About 10 minutes from Edinburgh by train across the lovely freaking bridge. Um, awesome. The fake Golden Bra- Gates Bridge. Did you go to the comedy festival there? Fringe festival. Fringe festival. Yes. See, we have a fringe festival where I come from too. Oh, where are you from? Melbourne. Oh, you're from Melbourne. Yeah, fringe festival. Bloody Aussie. Where are you from? New Zealand. I'm a Kiwi. Oh, you're a Kiwi, bro. I fucking love Kiwis, Born and bred. I love Kiwis. You from Auckland? Well, Waikato. Waikato, yeah, yeah. We got moved into Auckland as a massive shift of the super city. Yeah, yeah. We're like two k's from the Waikato border, Yeah. which would be fucking astounding if we were on the other side, because Aucklanders are fucking twats. It is a shithole. Yeah, it is. It's like, I I don't mind it because I've got people I know there. It's almost like the whole coast of Australia. Gold Coast. Like, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, really it feels like you've got to go there just to kind of start and then you've got to kind of take branch off out. and branch yeah. out. Yeah, branch it feels out. like, you know, anywhere, like, everywhere, you can go 20 minutes anywhere in any direction and you find some pretty amazing shit here. Yeah. Oh, no worries. Oh, I thought you weren't talking, were you? You were just kind of yeah, like, not a big, we'll come back to you. Yeah. So, yeah, so how long have you been here for? I've been in here in Budapest. Yep. I've been in Budapest for three days. So since three days? Since Tuesday. So what, since what are your Tuesday. first impressions of the city that uh, oh, that has red food? I fucking love it. Yeah? Honestly. First night here, we were pissed by about an hour and a half after we landed. <laughs> so, 30 hour flight, about fucking eight pints of cider. No shit. Not a good mix. <laughs> but, you did know, you, where'd you go? Like, where did you... We stayed here So you stayed here. Yeah. yeah. And then we... F- I got off to Macca's, I think, about 2.30 at night. You went to Macca's? Yeah, and then... Do you find McDonald's tastes the same no matter where you are? Or is it a bit different? You know what? I'm gutted. Every country is different. I'm gutted. Is, they don't it's have a triple cheeseburger here. I know, it man. Is, I miss my triple is, cheeseburger yeah, exactly. so much. That is the go-to. Triple cheeseburger. True. Large. Fuck yeah. Banana shake. 100%. Banana shake. And some chicken McBites. 
Jeez, you got, you've got your go fucking order meal. down pat, yeah, man. Costs like you know what I used to do? $14.90 in New Zealand. Yeah, That's here, how much it is. It's fucking ridiculous, isn't it's it? It's so cheap here. It's, it's, it's so much it's better here. so cheap here. And the thing is, like, I used to have this, uh, yeah, you know, this thing, right? You want to set it down? I'm just going to set it down like this. Nah, nah, nah. I'm, then we got, like, you know, then we can just kind of talk freehand. Oh, fuck so, you see that? Yeah. So, you're... That's me. You're, I'm one. Yeah, I'm two. two. I'm two. So just sit wherever you come, wherever you come to. We can yeah. even sit it there, and I can turn the volume up so you can just. Nah, nah. This like is that. this is pretty choice, eh? Choice. Pretty fucking choice, choice mate. Choice, bro. Yeah, nah, pretty choice, mate. Mate. Choice. <laughs> you got to teach these guys how to say choice. Do you guys choice. know how to say choice? Choice. 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 Yeah, be like, fucking choice. Fucking as choice cause. as cuz. <laughs> or like, but or or church. Choose life. <laughs> or church. Choose job. Choose church. Job. Choose job. <laughs> ecstasy <laughs> Ecstasy is the go-to Not here though Because that's very illegal That's one of my f- <laughs> That's one of my favourite <laughs> yeah. Drug free hospital Is this a drug free hospital? Yes Hos- Not a hospital, a hospital I thought this was a hospital No <laughs> I thought this is where people come to You know recover It's a retox isn't it? Ah oh, It's re- Ah oh, yeah. yeah, Shit definitely. I'm in the wrong fucking hospital Ah well I, was, I came here to. Fucking wrecked. Not here to fuck spiders. <laughs> fuck spiders. You get fucked up and it says out there. Where? See where? What boobs? We are not here to fuck spiders. It's even on their black Yay. cups. Who you can? Know, I never understood that saying until someone else explained it to me as in by would you put shoes on a centipede? It makes sense because you wouldn't fucking do that. No, it's it not. Oh, it would take too long. Fucking a spider's I mean, pointless. Over there in Australia, oh. the spiders fuck you. So exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's what the spiders say. They say they say we're not here to fuck humans. Yeah. What's hey, oi, Angus, 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 come here. Uh, come oh, here. Funny story about this guy. So that is we a were all fucking gorgeous out the anal room. Oh, the anal room in Grandio. I've heard about the anal room. There's this game that called Drink Your Way Out of the Anal Room. Yeah. Okay, how, how what are, are the rules? Yeah, very good. Oh, no. very good. So they have this sheet and they basically give it to you and they're like, just so you know, this happens. People have a lot of sex, people yep. shit. And in that fucking everywhere. dirty room, I walked in there and I said, this is, well, this is room full of dead couch. We have this event that goes on where we buy an entire trolley full of beer. Yeah. Um, Basically, it's supposed to be 10 beers per person. Yeah. Um, and what happens is you go in that room and you have to drink all the beer and you're not allowed out of that room until you drink all the beer. How much beer do you have to drink? Um, technically, it's 10 per person. A few slabs. For like 24 boxes. Fucking a few slabs, yeah, not one mean, slab. No, a few. So it's a like an overflow. Between a whole bunch of people. Wheel. Oh, I was going to so say. Like one slab for yourself, yeah, that's four. Oh, that's no, 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 it's over 10. Like, it's about 10 each, like 10 person. Ten, no, 10 for each person. Beers. Huh? Oh, the cans, the big cans. Big cans. Yeah. Right. So you're pr- you're locked in this room until you drink your way out. Yes, basically, you're not allowed to leave this room, yeah, like and a lot of weird shit happens. We all get naked, like very quickly, because obviously everyone starts praying beer everywhere. And I remember I was in there two weeks ago with Angus, lovely Angus, managed oh, to get a girl. Oh, that, that guy over the later host. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, we were all in there, and Angus managed to get a female. A lovely female who yep. was pretty much all, we were all naked. Yep. And basically this female started sucking him off while he was pulling another girl and then eventually started fucking her while he, while he was pulling another girl beside him. See, I don't believe any of this shit. And it was on the bed in the corner of the anal room. There's a bed there? In the corner, like There's in, the, in the right. Is that an anal room? That's like is Grandio. That There's Grandio, an anal room. Grandio's another, is the original party hostel. I was there the other, the other night. You go in there, you're not oh, to take your phone day because day a lot of disgusting things happen yeah, in there. Yeah, 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 you know this. I was there the other day because my brother syndrome. 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 Is there a person called Syndrome here? That would be his brother. That is my brother. Right. That one with the handbag there. Yep. That is my mum. Are you serious? Go get a, Go and get your fucking mum right now. He's with his mum. Oh yeah, his mum's cool. Oh yeah, his, my mum gave me. His a vibrator. My mum gave me a vibrator to give to my mum. Wait, 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 wait. She Petra, the schizer's cunt. You're I hear right. you're the best mum in the world. Fuck yeah. Okay. Can you can you explain what, what, what gift you bought your son for his girlfriend? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Excuse me, I'm the it girlfriend. No, I'm joking. <laughs> and it was too little for Good someone who's had two children, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Inappropriate. <laughs> oh, this one time. There is this one time at Bangkok. There is this one time. Did you try it first and say no? Nah. Fucking wait. Nah. 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 That actually would be really wrong. Yeah, it would be. It <laughs> no, would be I just very wrong. I went extra small. What the fuck? No it's thanks. Not work. Yeah. <laughs> did you get a replacement? No, nah, she, she, she gave it to me. So, you know your son. When when situation? You were children. I was like, yeah, you had the little brother. No, I am the child. <laughs> Alex is a replacement. No. <laughs> right, Where's my darling? This is my cherubs. Right, hang on, hang on. Oh, there was another time. <laughs> there was another time, right? Yeah. This is fucking it's hilarious. In bank camp. In bank camp. In bank camp. <laughs> yeah. In bank camp. I was coming home from work. Yeah. And the door at home is always unlocked. <laughs> This time it wasn't unlocked, and I was like, hmm, what the fuck is going on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's dark outside, struggling to get my keys, bashing on the door. Yeah. And she opens the door, just a little crack, and um, on. one of her partners is in the lounge, her Tinder buddies is in the lounge. I oh, have Tinderellas. Oh, I putting his pants on. I am Tinderella, my neighbour calls me Tinderella. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we got and the then, story, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll get to that. And I'm like, what the fuck, let me in. Finally gets his pants on, lets me in. <laughs> Chucking all my food in the ki- in the kitchen. There's a bag of open shrimp in the thing, in the kitchen Prawns. sink. Prawns. And I'm like, all Prawns. right, bet. It's gonna be fucking hard not to make a joke out of this one. And I yell out, mum, is this the fucking shrimp or is this you that I smell? <laughs> <laughs> and this guy is just standing at the doorway in shock. And then it's, oh yeah. He's just, he obviously <laughs> had no idea what he was putting himself oh, into. No, no, I mean, if you come into my house, you're gonna get a shredding. Like, it's kind of just standard shit. Petra, <laughs> you're a fucking legend, eh? Yeah. What's your she story? Is a legend. What is your story? Is. Do you wanna jump on the mic for a sec? Jump on the mic. No. Do you know what I just told her. What? And she already knew about it. Yeah. Her son having a tally on the wall of all the people that he's fucked. You know what? Yeah. I wish I fucking yeah. had that because I might remember half of them. You know, I met She's a, a straight good I met a guy uh, a couple of days straight ago. Good bitch. Thanks, mate. His name's Red, yeah? He's an Red. old guy, he's got uh, two months left to live. Oh fuck me. Him and okay. his him and his mate uh, travelling around Europe just to see him off, yeah? And he told me he used to have panties on his wall. Oh, so he had like a oh, collection. Oh, we had in Krakow in the staff room. Oh. All the girls that people are buying, they leave something, so they put it up on the pipes that are hanging on the wall in the staff room in Krakow. That is so Greg cool. And Tom's. That is so Great. cool. It's so cool. That is you know what? Shit. He, he had a court case here <laughs> yeah. to keep his kids. Yeah. And obviously the lawyer, a female lawyer, got up and said he had no relationship with this woman, so he shouldn't have his kids, have the kids. He had evidence. And you know what he did? He had evidence. He had evidence. You know what he did? He Pulled. says, fuck off, I do. Reached into his pocket, pulled out the panties, and dropped them in the fucking oh, middle of the court. Oh, <laughs> that is, oh I said you turned it into performance s- art, man. What a straight legend. He goes, so he goes, he goes it was, they were a bit me. crusty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. oh no! Red, Classic. red's Classic, a legend, oh, yeah. and his best mate, oh, yeah. <laughs> his best mate's taking him around Europe for one last ride. Yeah, yeah, good Guess on him. Guess what his name is? He's got long oh, hair and a beard. Santa? Yeah. No. Make a wish. Santa. No. <laughs> uh, think it, Santa's kind of hijacked this holiday from the original. Monica, armadillo? Nah, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is his nickname. Does he look like Jesus? He like, does. does he? Yeah, we, we went to a bar and we're like, I was walking around going, hey, do you guys want to meet Jesus? And they're like, oh. are you out of your face? I'm like, nah, he's around somewhere. Just look. Nah, and they're like, him. what? And they look around. They're like, oh, is it that guy? Was yeah, he, he dressed does. up in a oh robe? Yeah. Was he dressed Perfect. up in a robe? No, nah, he doesn't have to. Oh. Did he have Birkenstocks on? <laughs> <laughs> Air Romans. That's what you call it. Air Romans. And the thing is, like, he, he introduces himself to Jesus, like, as a joke, yeah. right? Yeah. So all these people, I'm like, yeah, go and meet him. Just, just go over there and just introduce yourself and just find out his name. Yeah. And they're like, he's not really Jesus. I'm like, just go and introduce yourself. So they go over and they shake his hand and I'm watching. And of course, they reach over. Hey, how you going? Uh, what's your name? He's like, he's like a Monty Python boy, yeah? yeah. So he's yeah. got that accent, yeah? Oh, wow. Every single line is a joke, yeah? yeah. yeah. You know, we got talk it. about mushrooms. He's like, ooh, mushrooms. They're fun guys to be with. Oh. <laughs> I'll grab my oh, coat now. Oh, my no, 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 settle down. You, you, you're still funny, you're still funny. <laughs> but yeah, they all met Jesus. They shook his hand. Uh, I met Jesus too. Oh, hello, what's going on here? Nice legs, that Jesus. Tea. That's tea. That would be T, and she is one of the staff here. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's a very, very gorgeous woman. She yes. is indeed. I, uh, I, I, I did know this. I You're pretty cute yourself now. No, I'd say so. See, I'm, I'm very surprised that my brother has actually 
been there with you. I'm surprised too, don't worry. Yeah, same. I was, he was like, you're going to... He gonna... said to me that you would look at me and look at him yeah, and look at yeah. me and look at him and yeah. go, what he the fuck? Like, why are you back? You got taken like for a second when I want a cigarette. You'd see Dora yeah, and you'd be like, hold on, hold on. Size check, like what the fuck's going on? Honestly, like, it took a long time for us to get up, there. Hold on, <laughs> yeah, Are you hooked up? I am not surprised. With his brother, his brother yeah. Brother, with my brother. With the, what's his name? We were talking about how we got together. It was a very, very awkward interaction and it's still awkward every single time. Every time. Every time. Every time. It, it's never going to stop. I, yeah. Let's face it. It's <laughs> never going to stop. How do you tell the guy that you bang, his mother, that you bang him? Did you bang it? No. I look, ex- I look exactly like my dad. Thank you. <laughs> Not <laughs> today. <laughs> Sorry to tell you. Really? He's got time really? to make yeah, up for it. I'll, I'll call him out. You'll find out. Oh, yeah, bit. No worries. He's a lovely really? boy, I can tell you that. So you're like, oh, oh is that, that's um, excellent. He massages my back all the time, it's great. <laughs> and he also bits yeah, hugs. I was at, listen, he does, he's very and cute, he always hugs. Red, like, you know the old Japanese. We we're talking about me <laughs> banging her <laughs> son. He had the blue version, and he looked exactly the same as me. I was fried off my head, so I had no clue. But yeah. my mates were like fucking getting me around him, and. He showed me the photo the next day and it was a splitting image. 100% of you? Of me. Of you me. found yourself. Yeah, yeah. Doppelganger. Doppelganger. You found your double. The I've un- never the met a doppelganger. I've met a the, the only difference was our colour of our uh, shit. I ran out of water. And he, he had you know that? Line. Yeah, he had thin you eyebrows. You saw his shit? You sure his shit? The shit. Oh, I thought you said shit. shit. No. I love your shirt though. Ben oh, has shit. the same one. It's ben. such a good. Balto, he's one of the staff here. Oh. He has the exact same one because I always compliment on him how good it is. Very nice. I mean, but this one's from New Zealand, so it's better. <laughs> He's Australian, so it's probably an Aussie thing. Oh. Oh, Aussie, oh. Aussie, oh. Aussie. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Boy, Fuck oi, oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> howdy, howdy, let's go, howdy. <laughs> Drum and bass in your face. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I wish uh, I was Maori, you know? Maori? Oh, no, you do not. You'd be in a fucking couch getting the doll. And you'd is be that ah, on come the doll. On. Wait, does the doll mean the same thing there as it does here, like on cash from yeah. the government? Yeah, the doll. doll. We have the same yeah, the thing. It's the same in the UK. Really? Really? The doll. The yeah. Doll. yeah. Exact same thing. Well, I think that's maybe where we got it from. So, like, see, like the age for having children there. What is it? Like the average age, or like what's having a very children. common age? And and I mean, like, I've got oh, no, three no, people yeah. that are. See, for us, it's like sixteen. Yeah, mate. It's very normal. Mate, yeah. In the UK, 16 is very yeah, normal. Mate, I think it's around 17, 18 here. Yeah, like, it's got, very, very young. I've got four of my mates that I went to high school Do you know what's with, a really, really weird fact about Hungary? The legal age for sex here is 14. 14? Yeah. I know, yeah. what the fuck is with that? That's mental. It's insane. Unheard of. Can I just say... I can tell you a lot of political things you know, that are fucked I, up with this country. Hung- Hungarian women are the best looking women in the world, Thank right? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, by, by far. But do you know why? They're also the best porn stars in the world. The best porn yes. directors come from here. Yes, that's true. That's true. Yes. I, I, I know this for a fact. But the men, the, the men, but the men, the men aren't that much top. No, they're shit. They're all, so, so, they're either bald or they're yeah, like bodybuilders because we have the world's strong men, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen a like, few. Like, I have the powerhouse gene. Oh. Which means I'm freakishly strong for my size. And you can ask Syndrome that. I am Should very I freakishly strong. I, I, I mean, like, I can, like, I can headlock you and choke you, like, really quickly <laughs> without... <laughs> Honestly, if you wrestle me, I can get you down on the floor yeah, so quickly. Oh, oh, oh. If you want to get choked out What's during that? sex, that's fine. Krav Maga is an Israeli military street fighting style. Yeah, well, so um, my that's, exes that's are mainly, wrestling. like, either MMA, Jiu-Jitsu, or, yeah. like, Muay Thai, like, that sort of thing. Yeah. And they... I'm a very slippery bastard, and they're always slippery really surpri- bastard. They're of fucking surprised are. at how good I am of because they can, they can never bastard. ever get me in any sort of lock. Go for it. Go wild. I feel like this is going yeah, somewhere yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really need a pee. I'll piss myself. I think. <gasps> oh, <laughs> do you know what I did once? I did laughing gas at a festival, and I really needed a pee beforehand. And I was like, yes. I hope I don't piss myself. And I did a double, like a double canister thing of laughing gas. And do you know what oh, happened? Oh. I was sitting inside the tent, and then I. Is that cream charges? Cream, yes, nos. Yeah. Nossies. We yes. call them nangs. Nitrous, nangs, 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 yes. Nangs. So yeah, nang, 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 yeah, I have the same thing. It's the most so, bogan name for me. I used to sneak 500 of those into festivals. 500, really? 500 canisters, more than that, 700. Do you know how I used to do it? And it's the easiest fucking thing ever. Shove it up your ass, mm. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, 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 massive course, fucking, that's no. Get drugs into festivals, if you can so. take alcohol into a festival, all you have to do is get a crate of beer, take the crate out, yeah. 
put the laughing gas in and seal it back up again. Oh. And then you can literally just stroll it in as if they think it's alcohol. That is very smart. That is very, very smart. And I remember one time, I never used to sell it. I used to just hand out to people because yeah. people would give you free drugs for it. It was great. <laughs> literally, people would be like, oh, can I get some? Like, I'll buy you. And I was like, no, no, no. And then they'll be like, I'll give you drugs for it. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> So Break, this one time, break me up, baby. yeah. Exactly. So this one time, um, I was sitting in the tent, and basically, I was like, I really, really need to pee, but I want to do this first. And I was oh, doing a double my, balloon, my, my, my. a double balloon, <laughs> and I was sitting inside the tent. And as we did it, it was videoed, and I, I, I literally finished it, and I was like, I pissed myself, and it was like, No, you've thrown up, and I was like, No, I pissed myself, and they're like. Dora, you've thrown up. You've not pissed yourself. I was like, no, I've thrown up as well. I'd, oh, oh I pissed myself and I've thrown up inside three, the like tent. A, a shit, a piss, and a, and a I didn't vomit. shit myself. I pissed in the tent and I threw up on myself at the same time because <laughs> oh, I was that no, fucked. Oh, no, 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 no. And I remember one time it was like raining so much and we didn't want to go outside, so we literally just kept them doing them after one yeah. another, which you could technically die from. I mean, we but had, it was um, hilarious. We had this one time where we were at a, a gig in Auckland City. And I had wrapped up. I think for that night I did about a gram and a half of Amsterdam ah. ecstasy. Ooh. And lovely. <laughs> that is far too much for any. Definitely person. normal human. And um, hold up. And then <laughs> hold up. We, yes, bought, so <laughs> we have three stages of nangs in New Zealand. So you got greens, silvers, and purples. Purples mm -hmm. are the ones that are like fucking huge. Yeah, so that'll be three in one. Absolutely cooked. Yeah, and we do doubles. Yeah, we usually do doubles or yeah. triples. So it's like, yeah. and it's do you know what we used insane. to do? Spinnies. Use twelve round and round while you're doing it. Oh, see, we did that, but we were like, we were walking around. I was railed as off the one and a half grams. Yeah, yeah. And we were going down some stairs in our hostel, and I absolutely, it was like fucking fourteen steps until the bottom. There were six of six of my mates in front of me. I'm at the top. I'm just at the end of my fucking six. Did you bowling pin them? I 100% <laughs> wiped Bowling roll pin them. And the thing is, is that like we got it on, se on security camera. Strike. <laughs> and it was the funniest shit the next day. One of them actually fell over the rail and started going down the other stairs. Oh, God. One put his head like halfway in the door. And the other one, I broke one of my mate's noses because he was the first one impact. He smacked into the ground. And it was like... What the fuck is going on? And at the end, I'm just sitting there in the bottom, having fucking checkers board spin around in my fucking brain for yeah. like five minutes, <laughs> and it is the most ruthless memory I have. <laughs> but so good. What is the craziest thing that you've ever done while high or fu well fucked up? Um, we did about eight caps, so I went eight fives. Oh, so, I mean, like, have you ever done anything stupid? Like, you've nearly died from something oh, yeah, stupid. Oh, no, yeah, we've um, climbed up. There's a building in Auckland called The Cloud, and it's pretty much like a marquee style of thing, right? Mm -hmm. And there's, like, scaffolding on the side. Yeah. And we had done half a tab of acid and some gear. Great start. So ecstasy. Yeah. It was four in the morning. Wow, you're candy flipping. Oh, wait, no, it's MDMA and ecstasy. Yeah. Uh, acid, sorry. Acid, yeah. <laughs> nah, and um, we climbed up this building. It was torrential rain, and on top it's like this really slick tarpaulin, and we and it's it's quite high when you get up there. We did not expect it, and we were sitting up there. I passed out, and then we all started kind of sliding down this fucking thing. Oh no! Oh no! And then I woke up, and my mates, one of them's holding onto the scaffolding underneath, one's holding onto me, and the other one's holding onto the dude holding onto the scaffolding. Oh fuck! And the security guards at the bottom calling the police and we're like holy fuck we need to get out of here and um and yeah we ended up tripping for about i think we stopped at about 1 30 the next day p.m oh wow yeah we, that's we bad had 300 yeah 300 ug yeah which is like double oh, yeah. normal amount yeah yeah so I mean, we were absolutely fucked. I think like one of the worst i mean i've, I've nearly died like several times over oh, but yeah. one of yeah. the worst um so there was this one time that we were on MDMA. My ex used to be rich and he used to just like leave piles of drugs on a glass table for us to take whenever. Oh, um, amazing. He used to make that weapons for BA systems, which is like the army weaponry. Holy like, fuck. yeah, and he used to create weapons for them because he was an electrical, he was like an engineer of some yeah, sort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, there was this one time that 
he was rich, so he had like random shit. We were at this flat that he owned and um, he had abseiling gear. I don't know if you know what that is. Yeah, it's know, like the yeah. ropes when you go down a, a mountain. Absolutely. Right, Absolutely. so, so cool. we decided, oh yeah, third story window, let's abseil out. And I had, <laughs> I, I was in my socks. Now, what we did was we attached it to the double bed. And in Scotland, the new flats are not built properly. It's made out of plasterboard. Oh, so it's just, not real. So it's you, literally, yeah. you can punch through it. Yeah. And uh, we, we tied the, the abseiling gear to the bed. It didn't take my Is weight. Is attached to the wall? The bed is not attached to the wall, no. So the worst part was, was as soon as I let go of the, the window railing when I was outside to go abseil down, the bed literally slid from one side of the room across the other, nearly smashed straight through the wall, and I literally dropped about six foot in the air outside in my socks and grazed all the way down my side. Holy I nearly fuck. died, and I was just hanging there. And it was really funny because it was someone's window, kitchen window underneath us, and they were just staring at me as I was hanging there from the freaking strings. <laughs> I managed to get down, and it was all fine, but like, oh god, that yeah. sounds so fucking skits. I've nearly like capsized speedboats as well. Oh. I've done so much stupid shit. I remember we had this little tinny, right? Which is a dinghy, small little boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It fits too comfortably. Yeah, too comfortably. We had about seven. Sounds like a kayak. <laughs> we had seven on there. Wow, okay, we yeah. Were about, Two to seven, that's a lot. <laughs> about a mil, or maybe no, a centimetre away from the fucking ocean. Mm -hmm. We were all pissed as fuck. So we had a slab, and a slab in New Zealand is 24 beers. And they were all gone. Slab each. Yeah. And um, and we ended up having to get the Coast Guard out because the wake started chopping up. Yeah. And the wake was going, so it would start and then finish on the other side of the boat. Yeah. And it was like, what the fuck's going on? No life jackets. All pissed wow. as fuck. The worst thing, we lost all our fish. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, all the so fish. Fucking all shit. the fish. That's, that's the worst like, bit. Oh no, we got nothing to fucking eat up afterwards. No kai. And it's like, we had like fucking 36 mussels, freshly cut, absolutely gorgeous, down the drain, down the sink. That's so sad. Yeah, and we ended up getting charged about, I think it was collectively about $9,000 New Zealand. <laughs> wow. And it was not nice that's at all. That's no. like a grant, like one point yeah, one Yeah, that's so sh In one sitting, for not having really life jackets, sinking our boat, and poaching That's fish. so shit. That is really, really so shit. shit. It is yeah. The worst time we've ever there had. was this one time, um, yeah, so I'm not going to tell the, the capsizing thing because that yeah. it was fucking <laughs> stupid. But um, I was in Ibiza and I got this scar that's right there on my wristband. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. So, actually, it's really fucking stupid, but um, that's a pretty simple story. I was in the bedroom and I tried to go grab my phone and I sliced it off the, the edging, the headboard, because oh. there wasn't any edging on it. Yeah. And like, I said I didn't want to go to hospital, I didn't want to pay for it. So no, what yeah, I did, I just yeah. put a sock in my mouth, got them to hold me down and pour a vodka in it to clean it. So that was it over. Yeah. But the next day, um, we had an open bar for two hours before going to the zoo project. Oh, very nice. And very nice. I drank a whole bottle of Southern Comfort before even starting. Fuck. And in Ibiza, the curbs are about a foot tall. Like, they're really fucking high. They're like literally that high. They're very fucking tall. Fucking and um, I remember saying to my boyfriend at the time, I'm going to go back to the apartment, which is in the corner, so yeah. I can spray myself in deodorant because I'm sweating like fuck because I'm so drunk. So drunk. I, right in front of a family restaurant, I tripped over the curb, smashed yeah. my head off the ground, knocked myself unconscious. My <laughs> body went into shock from the amount of alcohol that was in it, and I started projectile vomiting while I was passed out. Fuck now, the best part is, is that... Five black men, black men, looky looky guys, come and pick me up, arm and leg, and carry me off that sounds like into a the distance. That sounds like a porn hub scene. <laughs> I literally woke up to like several guys standing around me throwing bu buckets of water over me because I was my body was overheating and I wouldn't cool down. And I was like, mate, why wouldn't you take me to hospital? And they said, well, because yesterday you didn't want to go to hospital. And I was like, I nearly died. It's a lot bit different from getting yeah. a fucking slice in your wrist to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh god. Right, I really, really, really need the toilet right, so badly. So, guys, someone else talk. Melman, Melman, talk about your. Melman, talk to the podcast. It's a podcast talk. Give us some shenanigans. I need to pee, so I'll come back in a minute. Uh, <laughs> this guy's just set up a podcast for us to just check shit about. Yeah. yeah, and what's the podcast about? It's about anything. Yeah, you just. About anything, about Reed Talks Bar. Yeah. Um, Go wild. I don't know. It's just the type of place where you can see the maddest happen. shit in the world. Uh, to be fair, this is interrupting my time to go get a shot, so I'll oh, I'll, I'll try and make this quick. Yeah, um, well, also, what's your name? I'm Ryan. Ryan. Nice to Great to meet you, Ryan. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God! Yeah. No way! That Completely explains the charisma. Well, yeah, not really. 
it runs but, in the fucking family. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely runs in the family. But um, oh yeah, she's fucking oh, as well. She showed so me the photo of that. I was <laughs> killed over at that photo. Oh, did you see that it? looks like yeah, yeah. yeah Syndrome yeah. showed me earlier today. It's so good. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's so Sorry. gold. Yeah, <laughs> Just nah. she looks like she's having the time of her life. This one. <laughs> he asked for a credit card. I heard crack pipe. Well, I was like, no. I, mean, crack pipe wouldn't be bad, I was like, I have, <laughs> I have not seen one of those. No, no, not around here anyway. Apparently, it's really dangerous. Right, right up. You're coming on the party bus? Yes, definitely. One hundred percent. Right. One hundred percent. It's called the too much fun bus frequently because she's back. Go get your I shots. I will take it back now. Thank you very much. much. <laughs> oh. I really, really, really should start my own podcast. It would literally just be about my just life, though. From Nothing. Except from that. Next time, just bucket it. Bucket it. Bucket it. Just oh, you said popcorn in it. Huh. Easy. Done deal. Oh. Fucking 45 minutes. Yeah, we've done a pretty good job so far. It's a decent job. I know. Where is this podcast going to end up? I'm really worried about that. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, if it's on Spotify, <coughs> I'm... Because I mean, <coughs> no one wants to hear this, really. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> there was one time, actually, I've nearly died several times from trying to have sex as well. Asphyxiation? So, this is kind of it's a fucked up sex. story. I it's mean, no, I mean, it's the wildest mainly, shenanigans mainly, mainly that you've ever had. So, I have this really, what really, it really. It's a Saturday. Saturday shenanigans. Saturday That's shenanigans. what we should name this podcast. Saturday shenanigans. Saturday shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> that is so great. Um, so, yeah, there was this one time. Um, this one time at band camp. Oh and uh, basically, um, <laughs> there was this guy. <laughs> Are you okay there, mate? <laughs> You're all good. Um, I can't believe you just fucking coughed on an e cig. A vape, a vape. <laughs> what do you want? Of course they are, they usually are. What's the best one? No, because So Jess, one of the workers at the. Definitely Mario, Mario. We're doing a podcast. Tell us your wildest shit. And I'm dying here in the corner. Oh no, it's got vodka in it. It's like half vodka, half juice. Awesome. A foursome. I know. <laughs> oh, you're very, very elaborate. Lucky. Um, what? Explain. Foursome. Um, How'd it happen? Where it was? Okay, so. <laughs> it was last New Year's Eve. And Told you, New Year's Eve always. It's like everyone goes into heat. New Year's, yeah. And my name is. I fuck so, so much at New Year's. Yeah. yeah. So, I was with my friends. Don't even your name. And then, like, I met a friend of mine in a club. So I started to talk to him. He's like 34. Yeah, French guy. So I lost my friends. <laughs> So I was with like him, his girlfriend, and his cousin from friends, who was his just cousin. like who was like visiting, and then like I was like very American, drunk, yeah. but then like I started to do shots with them, and we were like dancing until like it got like I don't know like morning, sunrise. yeah sunrise. Yeah. Still then, sounds like, American. We decided to go to the girls' place. Yeah. Yeah, and then we had like a foursome, which was like fucking crazy. So was, and then like in the morning, his cousin, the yeah. Main. So a what guy, yeah. his girlfriend, and his cousin, and me. <laughs> that is a wild time. Yeah. And then like the next <laughs> yeah. day, sweet the next home day, I'll Alabama. Alabama. Fuck buddy's office. office. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. Fuck when he's off Wow. No, it's not. Depends on Wow. And, and like, I was, like, telling him, like, stuff, and he was like, you should, like, write a blog about your sexual life. <laughs> I should do that. Just imagine, like, a Red Tops blog about... That's what we call the Legend and Lightweight nominations. We have it every week. And one of my favourite ones, actually, is a guy called Sean Duggan, and he used to be here, and he got a Legend nomination one weekend because it was 4 o'clock in the morning and he got very bored, so he found himself a Tinder date at 4 o'clock in the morning and they went to a bar together. How they managed it, I do not know. But, listen to this. So, 4 o'clock in the morning, he managed to find a Tinder date and then they went to a bar and they basically ended up fucking on the pool table when the bartender fell asleep behind the bar. <laughs> That is a story of a lifetime. Yes. It is so good. Yeah. But and then yes. Melman, who works here, got a legend nomination because on the bus we had this thing called the Citadel and it's the most beautiful outlook in Budapest, which you'll see tonight on the bus. Yep, and it. everyone's like going, wow, at the view, because it's so gorgeous. And, and Melman and Gloria at the back giving each other rim jobs. <laughs> each other. Yeah. Wow, I've never had a rim job, personally, but I've heard they're fucking amazing. They are very amazing. I've <laughs> Oh, yeah. do you like giving them? <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't faze me. Oh, well, I'm happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, another 15 minutes, we're going to wrap up. Okay, cool. Where, where is this podcast? YouTube. 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 Yeah. Right. Well, it's you've got to subscribe, though. Yeah, we will. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've got you to you donate, yeah? Donate. On Patreon, so oh, five yeah. bucks a month. Oh, I bet. No worries. You serious? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. Alright, uh, just look it up, yeah? Oh, Pesh. Alright, yeah, 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 fucking chuck it on somebody. Oh, yeah. I remember this, because it's made up word. No one else has got this. Chuck it on here. Wait. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Alright, sorry. Dude, can you just, like, type it in here? I love how my last searches were veins, big les. Look at my last... What should it be? My last searches. Saturday shenanigans. Saturday shenanigans at Retox. Saturday shenanigans at Retox. Fuck yeah. My last search... I was the one that gave you directions here. Yeah, no one listens okay, to you right. and you get I'm really annoyed. Fucking <laughs> yeah. right, 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 okay, yeah. no right. main. You want a cut? Well, if you want. Whatever I mean. Oh, yeah. You're right. It's on YouTube, so just search yourself. Producer. So are you. You're a producer. So are you. No, the thing is do you know what? Some guy came up to me and he was like, oh my God, you have an amazing voice. What are you going to do with it? He was like a voice coach for TV like actors. And I was just oh, like, really? nothing. And he was like, that's <laughs> such a waste. Your voice is very lovely. Not much, I was like, you? Nah, <laughs> it's fucking no. Nah. <laughs> I think it's very you're deep. On the internet you're the host hours, of a podcast. I know, I know. I'm fine that with that. You, can you, is that all right? So cool. Yeah, of course. You guys okay with that? I give you that. consent to... Consent, yeah. consent is key. So do you want to hear my, 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 my craziest sex story? I nearly died from hypothermia. <laughs> Oh, that is so good. <laughs> we have to listen into this one. So Come on. guys. Spill the fucking so beans. Last, what is it about? It's, it's about this shit. Oh, but yeah. right, that's actually not my worst sex story because there's been one time that I got bent over, strumming a guitar with my tongue and I threw up on the guy in front of me. Oh, <laughs> but, oh, 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 oh. So there was this Fuck. one time when I nearly died. Yeah, and, uh, that's me. Yeah. Is. Subscribe. Oh, you still... Right. Okay. So, I essentially... subscribe for you. Is that right? Yeah, that's fine. I was going to do that anyway. I even hit the bell for you. Is I've already right? done the bell. Oh, damn it, I'll have to do it again. I'll get it so, well. I was in Czech ski slopes. All right. um, this guy that I was Spoiler. sleeping with, uh, he's actually a Kiwi, funnily enough. And his dad was married, was no, his dad was married to a Czech woman who had a house, a massive mansion, in the middle of the forest in Czech Republic. Awesome. Like, two hours outside of Bruno, next to a ski slope, like ski resort. Yeah. And, um, I don't know, his, so I had this really bad habit for wanting to, like, fulfill guys' deepest desires that they won't tell people. And um, essentially, this guy's deepest desire was to be watched and known that he's being watched. Wow. So, in the middle of fucking winter time, next to the ski slope, we set up a massive light in the middle of the night next to the main road, and he tied me naked, bent over against a tree. He tied me around the tree. That sounds like a fucking good time. And Honestly. essentially, I was out there for so long. Yes. You're in some fucking kinky shit. And it, like, honestly, 100%. afterwards, we'd been out there for so long that it... Why? You shouldn't be. 
You shouldn't be shocked. I am a dirty, Explore dirty whore. Explore, Explore every sexual fantasy. You oh yeah. Have. I mean, I've not had sex in there. I mean, I've given a blowjob, but that's about it. In fact, I did a blowjob. <laughs> no, but do you know what the best part was? So do you know what type of blowjob it was? Is this is the best. So this is the best thing, right? So me and this girl, uh, one of the staff here. So I was bent over giving the blowjob, and she bent over me like a cross, and we were doing a cross blowjob across each other, <laughs> naked. That is so, so cool. <laughs> you really don't mind this girl on the internet, bro. Honestly, I'm fine with it. It's okay. <laughs> No one will ever find it, I nah, hope. <laughs> me me it, sharing it on my social media. If this blows up, <laughs> it's fine. My name is Dora the Explorer. I will not say my real name. <laughs> Dora the Explorer. Because that's not my real name, and I'm not going to tell you what my real name is for that reason. But I think my voice is very distinctive that people will fucking find out anyway. <laughs> Just a little Hungarian girl that grew up in Scotland and sounds Scottish as fuck. It's not me and around, you know what I mean? And I'm also not very little, I'm fucking tall as shit, I'm like a giraffe. She's really tall, really. Stand up. She's relatively tall. Uh, you're not tall. I'm tall for, I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm taller than you. I mean, I'm a yeah, short yeah. bloke. Yeah. Bitch, I'm taller than you. Giraffe legs. Wait. I don't think the cable's long enough. I can't hold take it. Hold up. All right, so I think Dora is taller. Take the beanie. Oh, yeah, take the beanie. Oh. Take the beanie. Oh. Take the beanie. Oh. Also, because you're asking me that tiny bit of a Dude, I'm taller. Yeah, you're Dora. Oh, you're yes. Dora. 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 Even. Oh, I'd say Dora is taller. So I'm, 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 I'm taller. taller. Just by a smidge. A smidge. Yeah. 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 Definitely yeah. Dora. So, like, in the UK and in Europe, I'm considered tall. Ish. Yeah, yeah, see, I'm a fucking midget over New Zealand. Sure. Oh, right, okay. I'm a quarter duck to be the tallest fucking race in the world. Yeah. I'm a fucking 5'9, pushing 5'10, if, like, maximum. <laughs> yeah, I'm only, uh, like, 5'7, five, 5'8, five, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I did something really stupid in one of the hostels, actually. So yeah. in Vitae, there's a thing called the sex bed or the oh. cum bed. Have you ever the been shag to Vitae? Pad. The shag pad. And it's in the common room, like in the normal area. And like, it's disgusting. Like everyone's fucked in there. Everyone's came in there. And uh, one weekend- I had that at my house. I, um, I was like marriage. really, really stressed about something. So my period never came for five days and it made me stress out like really badly, even more. I I was like, oh fuck, I might be pregnant. Like I knew it wasn't possible, but like, just you know, five days put, late, I was starting to freak out. Next time, get a coat hanger, ram it up, oh, shut rip up. it out. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. Shut up. Most efficient, cheapest, oh, easy. That's disgusting. You might have to look at a fetus, but <laughs> it's fucking no way. And uh, basically, yeah, so like, my I was supposed to be going out that weekend and my period literally came on the Friday that I was supposed to be going out. No and I, no, I was really happy. I was like overjoyed. Oh, well, yeah, I was so happy that I forgot that I had my period. And I, I was... No no pad. Completely forgot, and I went to fuck this guy, and I forgot, and I was on top. And then all of a sudden, I was like, wow, this is a lot wetter than usual. And then I was like, oh shit, um, dude, I forgot, but I'm actually on my period. And he just kind of like looked at me really disgustingly. So and I, and then, fuck about this was like four o'clock in the morning, and I literally shouted to him, because I was so annoyed, really aggressively, well, put it in my ass then. And apparently, I woke up the entire fucking hostel. Now, that I didn't be... know this until two days later when I heard everyone talking about it saying, they didn't know it was me, and everyone kept talking about it, and I didn't know that they were talking about me until two days after when I was in a separate dorm. All the dorms have been talking about it, and they were like, oh yeah, this crazy thing happened the other night. A girl screaming in the middle of the dorm, stick it up my ass then, very aggressively. I was like, oh shit, that's me. Wow. <laughs> that's actually me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Nothing my wrong with period, <laughs> in my opinion. Definitely it's not. It's just a bit of blood. Just wrap it up. You're fine. It's just a bit of copper. Yeah. Bit of iron. Bit of coins. Iron's, good <laughs> Iron's definitely good for you. I mean, it's great if you're a lesbian because you have iron deficiency as a female. Oh, yeah, true, 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 true. Yeah. Uh, Fuck, that is a lot of shit, though. Right, would anyone like a go on this? Just Hello end. there, mate. Oh Hello. So, who is yes. your favourite cricket player? Is it Session by Tanduka? Currently, it's Virat Kohli. Currently, it's Virat Kohli. Currently? Yes. I'm not very up to date with the current team, yes. but 
I I I am uh, I like uh, Sachin Tendulkar is my is yes, like yes, my yes. god. Yes, he is the god. He is the god. Yes. The little master. Yes, really. Yes, really. Definitely. What you doing in Hungary? Came here for the party scene. Yes. But uh, I tasted the party scene yeah. last Your week at Bratislava. Oh, Bratislava! Yes. And now here? Yes. For how long? Until tomorrow night. So, how did you find this place? Google, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you want party, so you yes. come to the right place, right yeah? Right place. Yes. This uh, biggest party hostel in Budapest. Yes. Apparently. Yes. Are you coming on the bus? No, by by plane. No, uh, tonight you're on bus. Yes. You're on bus. Ah, uh, okay. You and I, every now and then, we come together. We talk about uh, what do you want to talk about? Any anything. I'm open to all the subjects. Ah, really? Yeah. You like philosophy? I can talk on the same. <laughs> Okay, uh, what is your relationship like with your parents? My relationship with my parents is like... Do they approve of you coming and partying all the time? Yes, they are very much open-minded. They are open-minded? Yes, both are doctors. Doctors? Yes, so they gave me my freedom like very I good. want to. Very good. This Just good. be responsible this for is yourself. Not, this is not normal. Yes. This is abnormal. Yes. You are very lucky. Yes, I know that. <laughs> What's your name? Tanmay. Tanmay, Tanmay. Tanmen. T A N M A Y. T A N M A Y. Tanmay. Tanmel. Tanmay. How do you spell one more time? Tanmay. Tanmay. Me, me. Tanmay. Yeah. Tanmay. Yes. Can I call you Tan? You can call me Tani. Any. Tanny, Tanny. Tanny, Tanny, okay, Tanny. No problem. Nice to meet you, Tanny. Yes. I'm Joker. Nice to meet you, Joker. Tanny. Okay, you're, uh, what do you want to do? Just enjoy, make make some memories. Yes. Keep. This memory, we are recording memory now. Yes. So you remember in 10 years' time, you think, oh, yes. what, what was it like in Budapest? Ah, I, I go to uh, Opesh. And I remember, yeah? Yes. This memory, definitely. we record memory. Yes, definitely. Yes, that's good. Because uh, many times we do many things and we forget, yeah? Yes. But this is uh, be becomes, uh, we say, immortalized. Yes, definitely. Definitely, yeah? Yeah, Tani, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You're a good man. Come here, Tani. Come here, I'm going to hug you. Okay, who wants to talk? Should we wrap this up? I think we should wrap this up. All right, you've been listening to Apesh, our co-host, uh, Dora the Explorer, and... And Hesh Brown. Thank you very Zealand. much, guys. This was um, Sunday Friday shenanigans. shenanigans. Oh, Sunday sh shit, shut it. Saturday, Saturday. No. Should we sing Wonderwall? Did it, did it, did it. Oh, Wonderwall. <laughs> nah, well, oh. so this is um, Saturday shenanigans at Retox with Hesh Brown. Dora the Explorer. And Oprish. Yes. Apesh. And we are signing.